Joe Dobert here, just doing my part to get a little shake of Joe in every mouth across America. Today we're doing the bacon bomb. It's a, it's a great piece. Bacon makes everything taste good. It's like fairy dust. First thing you need, you need two pounds of ground pork, two pounds ground pork sausage, some pepper, some cheese, some barbecue sauce, some rub, most importantly, the bacon. That'll come in a little bit later. Right now, all we want to do is we want to mix the ground pork and the ground pork sausage together. And then we're going to flatten it out into a meat platter. I'll show you all that here in a minute. So we're just going to mix everything up, mix the ground pork with the, uh, the pork sausage. This is one of my favorites. We're going to basket weave some bacon. We're going to put a loaf right in the middle of it. It is outstanding. So as you can see, I've just got my sausage here mixed in with my meat, with the ground pork, which will give it a kind of a unique texture, a little different look. Alright, I'm going to take the meatball here, and what works good is a square platter, and I'm just going to flatten this all out. Your goal is to get this to about an inch thick, and you want it in a square, because that will come in as a later step. So we're just going to take it, work it around the edges here. Turn it into, like I said, a, a little meat platter is what I like to call it. All right. So as you can see, I've smashed it down into, eh, it's about a half an inch thick or so. Now the next thing you want to do is put on some of your rub. Of course mine is Joe's Special Blend. Take it, spread it generously over. Did you get a little piece, did you, boy? So I've got my rub spread generous, generously over that. Just put it in here. Now, the other couple of ingredients are optional. You can get as creative as you'd like with it. I like to put a little cheese in mine. So I'm going to take some cheese, spread it evenly over here. Spread it in. Then I like to go ahead and press that down into the meat. So that way when we roll it up for a later step, it isn't quite as loose. cheese. Okay. Now, I like to add some veggies. I get these from uh, Dylan's. It's three pepper blend. It's perfect. They're cut perfect. All you do is spread a little bit on there, add some color to it. They're green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers. Onion pe onions, yellow peppers, put a little bit here, and again, what you're going to do, press that down into the meat, and we'll put a little bit more in there, 
don't want to get too crazy with it. There we go. Now I'm going to add a little barbecue sauce. Again, that's optional if you want. Alright, so what I've got here is I've got a meat platter with rub, cheese, peppers, and barbecue sauce. Now what you're going to want to do for a later step, I would put this in the freezer for about 45 minutes, almost to the point of freezing. And you'll, you'll see why when we get to that point, it's going to make it easier to roll. Other than that, give it a little firm press there. Put it in the freezer for about 45 minutes and uh, we'll be good for the bacon, the next step. All right, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna do a basket weave on the bacon. Hey everybody, I'm back. Just put everything in the freezer. Now we're going to the next step, the fun step, and it's weaving the bacon. I like uh, using right, thick cut. Regardless of what type of bacon you use, you want thick cut. You're gonna stretch it out to the point of breaking because you want to be able to put the roast in it and then wrap it together. So I'm going to take each piece and I'm just going to stretch it out here just like so. Looks good, doesn't it, Mojo? <laughs> I'm going to set it right, just, just keep stacking it up. You're going to do that and you're going to go all the way up. You're going to get about halfway through. I use four pounds of bacon and, uh, and then you're going to start the weave process after you get done with that. Okay, so I stretched out the first layer here. I've got them all stacked up. Now we're going to do the weave part. And the way you want to do this is you want to start in the middle. You want to go over and then you're going to do every other one. Okay, so I'm going to go just like this. I'm going to go every other piece here. All right. And I'll take uh, another one. And you're going to make this as long. And what I've done is I've stretched this out as a uh, comparison here. You're going to stack it all the way up. And then you're going to take a another piece that's stretched out so you'll, you'll have an idea. And you'll have a square. Mo, find some bacon. <laughs> All right, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to stre stretch it lengthways across and uh, put it over like so. Okay, there's that. Now I'm going to go back and do the ones that I didn't fold this time. I'm just going to put it back through like so back I'm folding it back over the the piece that I just laid okay grab another piece again stretch it out so it's the right length and this is doing a, a basket weave I'll just lay it back over and you're going to do that for the whole basically the whole uh, the whole bacon blanket as I like to call it this is so cool all right so continue doing on with that and uh, I'll show you a finished product here in a few minutes okay well I've got the first tuft down you can kind of see how it's making this checkerboard of bacon it's, it's just really really cool so now I'm going to go on to the other side and uh, finish the basket weave. You can see here this was the very first strip of bacon that I put down and then I folded like I showed you there. So I've got one half down. Now I'm going to go back and do the other side. I'm going to fold them the other way now back over that first slice. There we 
dough. Bring the bacon. Exact same thing, you're just going the other direction. Thinning it out here a little bit, stretching it. Now I'm going to put it just on the other side. And again, just the, the same thing. I'm going to fold it back over. Okay, and you're going to continue doing that until you finish uh, finish this whole side. And I'll show you a done, done picture here in a minute. All right, everybody, this is the finished product. And I tell you what, man, I, words are difficult to describe this side of beauty. It, it truly is. It's phenomenal. It's, uh, it's magnificent, majestic. I mean, all in one. I, I've got a checkerboard of woven bacon that's going to be wrapped around a pork loaf and then smoked for four hours so before moving on I just kind of want to take in take it all in it's it, it's just uh, it's just fantastic but uh, anyways I hope yours looks as good as this so right now we've went through three pounds of thick sliced bacon you can see I've got the blanket here took me about 30 minutes or so so now my uh, my meat platter is semi firm now you can do this obviously in a in another place you know but uh, I'm gonna for sake of the video, I'm going to put this right over. Now this is where the, the tin foil comes in handy in the frozen portion of it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of roll this over a little bit and get it started. There we go. And then you're just going to want to continue to roll it just like a sleeping bag. Tuck it. Tuck the corners, and then roll it like a pastry. Be careful, you don't want it to go all the way through, but you want it kind of tight. makes me laugh when I do it every time. Go slow. You've got all this prep in it now. There's no reason in hurrying through it. Alright, so I've rolled it up. Now I'm going to tuck in the corners here because you've got your cheese your peppers, your barbecue sauce. Now at this point you can put a little rub on there if you'd like. I'm not going to, but you can, you can pretty much dress it up however you want. You know, again, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pinch off these corners here a little bit. Now, the next thing is just going to put it right down in the center of uh, your bacon. Fantastic. So here's my uh, my loaf. I'm going to just set it right here in the bacon, right here in the center of it. Now I'm just going to lift up my bacon, gently wrap it over. my bacon blanket <laughs> do the other side and you've got yourself a bacon bomb now that's ready for the smoker I'm gonna actually uh, I prep this uh, tonight and I'm gonna put it on the smoker tomorrow because it takes so long to prep you're looking at probably pretty close to an hour prep time you're going to smoke it at 225 for roughly four, four and a half hours. So I'm going to wrap this up 
and let it set overnight, kind of firm up, and uh, then I'll put it on the smoker in the morning. All right, see you in the morning. Okay, everybody, I, I just put my bacon bomb on. I'm doing it on my Green Mountain uh, smoker today. I'm going to cook it at 225. This should cook for right around four hours. Um, and then we'll be pretty close to being done. I'll take another pick, but uh, as you can see, it's on there and uh, ready for some football and uh, a bacon bomb. All right, we're two hours in. According to my awesome Green Mountain remote grill, we're right at 100 degrees internal. You can see the bacon starting to get a nice golden brown to the outside, dripping a little grease on the bottom, which is creating a little more smoke. It's looking pretty good. Should be right on schedule for a four hour cook. Hey Vanessa, look at the bacon bomb. Doesn't that look good? How long has it been on the smoker for? Uh, three hours. And what's the internal temperature of the meat? Uh, 135. That's right. Man, look at that. Starting to brown up. That is looking outstanding. We got about another hour or so on here. And uh, then we should be good. It is bright out here. Look at our bacon bomb, though. Is, is it done? Yeah, I think so. It's been on for four hours. It's reading 162. We're ready to pull it. We're going to let it rest for about 20 or 30 minutes. You ready to eat some of that? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Our, uh, our bacon bomb has been sitting now for about 20 minutes. I let it rest. Now I'm going to cut it and uh, show you the boom. Can we get a close-up of that? <laughs> that looks fantastic. All right, everybody have a good day.